BG, no, it's definitely Byakugan, my G. I don't think you understand, bro. Um, if you look, if you just look at the eyes, look at look at how the eyes look and how they're shaped. I'm sorry, bro, but that, that's bruh, definitely attention. Bro, how you gonna tell me this, bro? It's definitely Byakugan. The shape of the eye in the middle is definitely white and it's black in the outside, bro. Illuminati confirmed. I can tell you, it's definitely Byakugan. Don't play with my name, bro. Don't I've seen that. I, bro, I've seen that movie a, like a thousand times, bro. There ain't no way I could get bruh, that much Bro, I've seen that no sleep for a week, 48 hours, well, not even 48 hours, let me stop. But you already know, for a week straight, looking at that eyeball, and I'm telling you, it's Byakugan. Bro, I've seen that, I have that as my poster, I have that as my, as my fucking wallpaper, I have that as my, as my t-shirts, I have that as my contacts. Bro, I know what it is. Bro, it's Byakugan. Bro, it's a Tensei gun. It's Byakugan. Bro, it's a Tensei gun. It's Byakugan. I'm, 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 I'm not playing with you, bro. It's a, it's a Tensei gun. It's Tensei gun. Byakugan, bro. Oh, fuck this. Not as me, senpai. Yeah, I got niggas in the graveyard. Niggas in the stadium. I swear how the day goes by. That I don't think about the times. I wish that I can rewind. What's up viewers, it's Demon Senpai and welcome to my video regarding Boruto. Is it a new attainable power? What is going on with that new eye? And I have a good friend of mine that's in this video. His name is BG Biscuit. Say what's good to those viewers, my, my ninja. Oh, I am. I'm happy to be here. This is uh, BG. Yep, that's my nigga BG Biscuit. You already know. Check out his channel. Anyways, back to the topic that we were talking about. I want to... Pr pretty much pronounce what everybody keeps explaining to me about the difference between Boruto's new attainable power which is regarding his eye everybody keeps saying that it's Tensai Gon and Byakugan which which explains the basic skit that me and BG came up with because these are fucking fanboys I think that they keep they keep saying the same shit Byakugan, Tensai Gon, Byakugan, Oh the Moon, Oh Tsutsuki all they want to do is bring theories and we want to just bring some clarification of what we got up to speed and up to date right now and I'm gonna speak with BG and we're gonna pretty much bring our personal opinions on Boruto's power so as you know about Boruto's new power in Boruto Next Generations he's already learning about the new chakras that is coming out and basically what it's what it's explaining is is that he has a, um, a black eye that shows blue in the inside of his pupil which is pretty much crazy because nobody's had that type of power before and the fact that he has be the but the fact that he has he yuga clan blood in him makes him very unique because he has naruto the, the uzumaki clan on him too the blood of the blood of the uzumaki is also in him so it's very complicated about the powers that, he, that he's getting right now and he's showing and pretty much what they're doing is in the in the episodes of boruto next generation they're showing the, the new power that Boruto has pretty early and I just want to bring some moments of clarity of what what type of things that his new power can show and withhold and I did a little research I'm not gonna lie and I want to explain what I've seen and what I've saw so basically what I personally believe what I, I'm what I've been talking to with VG Biscuit and with everybody else is that Boruto has this new power and he can see some sort of chakra which is very well it looks purple purple blackish is very dark and sinister every time something occurs with his new pals or um people from the hidden leaf village things tend to go crazy and in order for in order for him to get it get it underway like how like how he encounters people with the with the with the chakra over them the, basically what i want to call it, the chakra is demon chakra spirit chakra that's what I want to call it because that's what it seems as it's appearing when I look at when I look at Boruto's eye like I'm, like I'm saying biscuit when I was when I was talking to you the other day about it I look at it as like he's like he can see evil spirits and that's something that I researched on because for some reason when he did that summoning jutsu on that episode that he did I mean episode that he did the episode that occurred that we saw he did a summoning jutsu and it it, it felt like he brought a, a some sort of type of demon from a different realm now I looked up that demon. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even remember the fucking name of it. But anyways, I looked it up and it pretty much explains what kind of demon it is. It has like a snake. A um, it's a lion. It's, it's a 
fucking it's a whole bunch of things it's a lamb too it's, it's a mixture of combinations of different animals into one it even has a snake in, in, in its butt and shit like it's fucking crazy i don't even understand it but basically boruto basically summoned that and that really scares everybody else because how can boruto summon something from a different realm people normally summon dogs or insects or snakes or freaking toads at least but boruto brought something else and that really brings speculation to what boruto's power um shows and explains in the show so basically i want to know your opinion also on boruto like what about his new power what do you think about that well personally i just looked at it as a not really a combination of of, of the Alpha Gun or Tensei Gun. I've actually looked at it as its own thing, like a brand new do, a brand new dojutsu that yeah, is apparently exactly. able to see some sort of concoction or whatever the heck that thing is. And it and it's like honestly, I think it it seems like it's made directly to counter that. I mean, yeah, it does seem it does seem very odd as new power because basically, like it really isn't a power that that looks passed down from the Hyuga clan and the Uzumaki clan which is basically Boruto's mother and father it seems like how you said it like he got that on his own but what what does it mean with the time skip like what does it connect to as you can see in the time skip you can see that Boruto has Boruto has tattoos around the side and it lights up and it goes all the way to his arm towards his sword I'm not gonna lie that's something that we have to also talk about because a lot of people are controversial about that particular scene but the fact that his his sword also is getting gaining that chakra energy from that power that he's using with that he just that he acquired at a young age makes more speculation about what's going on with Boruto. And that's what I wanted to bring upon bring upon the viewers and and Biscuit that I'm talking to right now because it does it does question a lot about what's going on in Boruto and what's happened in Naruto in the past because We've never had any character that had something basically brand new. We only had the Sherigon, the Byakugan, the Renegon. That's the main three. And the fact that the fact that Boruto has something completely different makes him very unique. And what's crazy is from the last movie, Boruto, Boruto the last movie when the last scenes when he's fighting um when he's fighting the Otsutsuki clan and stuff, the demon that when they fused together, the demon how he looked. He had like basically his eye looked the same as Boruto. It's not the same color. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely not the same color. Look, it's Byakugan. It's white. But the fact that how it looked when they mixed together and that mixture made it very, very odd that he has something similar to that. And a lot of people have been speculating on that also about why is it so similar to Boruto. And the fact that it's an Otsutsuki clan is different because they already have the eye implanted in them. When Boruto was just inherited with the blood of the Hyuga clan. So it makes no sense of what's basically going on. And I, I want to know what you think about that, BG. What do you think about that situation that I'm that I'm explaining right now? It's very, it's very tough to pinpoint as of right now. It's because it's like, well, it's only an episode like seven, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very tough to pinpoint it. But what I want to know is like, what's your theory on it? That's basically what this video was about. It's not about bringing facts or bringing opinions. It's like basically an analysis and theory video, retain um revolving around the new attainable power board. So it has got it. All right. Yeah. It's like how I'm doing it is that it's like if I had to if I had to put theorize about what it is right now, I'd say it's probably, well, a sage mode. That's what you think it is, like a sage mode. I think it's I think it's an, um, his own version of sage mode. That's that's the theory I've been I've seen and I and I can agree with the most. But that's what you're thinking I, about Boruto. Yeah, like if you look at it, it and I don't, it's like because what is it? We've seen different types of sage modes, like with um, the snakes, the sages, the toads. We'll be seeing something completely new with like Mitsuki. He has his own personal sage mode. Exactly. But my question yeah, is, seen... my question is, what type of sage mode does Boruto have, retaining, revolving around his new power? Because it's not like he's gonna be the freaking sage of, of the, the Uzumaki clan of, of, of fucking. He's a disciple of Naruto or the disciple of of um, Hinata. Like, let's get that straight. I'm wondering, like, what kind of sage mode would we expect from Naruto? I mean, not Naruto. <laughs> My bad. Boruto. This is gonna be that. This is going to be quite a little bit out of left field, but it, it might have something to do with that strange creature he summoned. Exactly, but 
the fact the the fact about that is I looked it up and basically what he's seeing with that with that eyes you is basically evil spirits. That's what the eyes revolving around. That's what I've researched and I'm that's what I question too. Because the, basically if you look it up online, um the, the 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 demon that the demon that Boruto summoned is a certain spirit. And it's it's a combination of animals, so I can't list the names. I'll probably list the names in the the video that I have for us today. But pretty much, it makes makes you really wonder: like, is Boruto able to summon monsters from the demon realm? What is what is that new? Well, like, what does the new character that Boruto fights in the time skip revolves around? Revolves around um what Boruto has at the moment and why does he have the same power as Boruto we're not even we don't even know who the we don't even know who the the character is yet in the story at a young age but it does make you wonder what's going on with this new power what are they trying to bring to us and what are they trying to show to us they're trying to show they're trying well this and um, in terms of a what is it a, a more of an out of character perspective this is actually just them trying to separate him from Naruto and that CS is trying to give him something, his own unique thing. Sure. That's exactly what this ability is. Now, as for in character, hmm. Well, well, he did speak of finding his own path, and 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 and, and since his father is himself as a change, he is finding his own type of power. With the, with this, so it's probably some. So it's possible that this is actually some some sort of um, what is it? Technique he's developed himself. Exactly. My question is that if. I mean, obviously, that we, by the rebel that we can see as Boruto is, he's not gonna learn under from his father. He's most likely, like they say, like how um, Sasuke is already taking him as a student. He's gonna learn mostly from Sasuke. Just due to the time skip, you can already see that the cloak, the type of cloak that he's wearing, is com is comparable to Sasuke's, and how he he has a sword also, so also comparable to Sasuke. So it makes you automatically think that he really did train under Sasuke. But it makes you think. It makes you wonder how did he, how did he, how did he like basically understand this power? How did he, how did he overcome it? How did he understand how to use it? And how did this other person in the time skip know how to use it? Also, it makes you wonder why does Mitsuki keep questioning about what's going on in the situation, and why does he keep following Boruto when when something's about to happen with this with this chakra, this demon chakra taking over people. And it's crazy how Mitsuki already knows what's going on, and it's crazy that he he was he didn't even know that Boruto can see it until Boruto clarified that he can. So that question is, what does Mitsuki's part play in, play in this new power that Boruto's um attaining, and what what's going on in the situation? Well, in terms of well, in terms of asking your previous question as to what power. I'm going to go out on a very bold statement here, and I feel that he um, he also he is going to show up later in the story as one of Sasuke's additional students. Exactly. Now the question is that basically that we can't really give like cl cl clinical facts and, and clarity of facts to the viewers due to the fact that we won't have enough information to expose what the true meaning of the power that Boruto is having at the moment. But at the same time, what I wanted to wonder why I wanted to do this video was to speculate and let people really think about what's going on in the situation of Boruto at the moment. The latest episode was bullshit. Let's get that shit straight. The latest episode oh, was no, retarded no, 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 as no, hell. No, no. <laughs> no doubt, it was pointless. Yeah, was... but I watched it anyways because I just want to see what happens. And basically, was crazy was what I what I realized that in the new episode, what I wanted to tell you, BG, was that. For some reason, normally you have to knock them out to take the power out. But for some reason, with 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 the new guy, with what was going on with the class rep, he didn't have to get knocked out. He just automatically took the words that he got told off from and basically awoken from it and ran off and ran away. Now that really made them question why is that happening to certain people? Certain people they can't overcome it and they had to just get knocked out for them to get to lose the demon chakra over them. That's why I'm gonna call it, cause you know it's spirit chakra. Let's call it spirit chakra. I'm gonna stop saying demon chakra, cause you know I deem it. But let spirit chakra, that spirit chakra that's going over them and overcoming them. You already know what's going on with that. Why do people? Some people snap out of it like nothing, and some people you gotta just mm, get the get the fuck out, like wake the fuck up. It makes no well, sense. 
Well, actually, no, no, I have a way to rationalize that. It seems to be that when you're, when you're actually, when the ones who are actually powerful, who have some inkling of strength, it, it'll take more than just, it'll take more than them to just drop, it, dropping out of it. You actually will have to knock them out because, well, think about it. If they have a strong enough will and fortitude, it's going to be kind of, it won't, they won't be able to, um, you, exactly. you would think that it would, yeah. you think they'd be able to just break out of it. But the thing is, if it, it seems to have such a, a stronger hold over them than those who with weak, with weak strength. That does explain a lot. My question is, though, the fact that they're targeting young people, they're mostly targeting older people in the previous generation also. But my question is, like you said, is it because of that they have so much will that they also do have a lot of depression in their lives at the moment as they grow older and they're targeting people with the most depression? Now, that could be a problem because they could that could even target older and our, the seventh Hukage as it is. Because uh, as you can see, Boruto already stresses them out enough, and Boruto stress himself too. Maybe even Boruto can get possessed, and he wouldn't even know it. But what if his well, dad gets possessed know. also? That's another theory question that gets uh, that could get out of hand also in this situation. Well, from what I'm able to tell, it seems that it only the stuff like, that you only get possessed if you're at, at a very low point. Because you saw it with um, um, bitch ass Dinky. He he was very low. He was actually very depressed about his father and stuff, and what had happened to him, he got possessed. Exactly. Then you have people like Shino, who is very down to the fact that he's not, he doesn't think he's a good teacher. And after that happened, he got he got possessed. Exactly, and that's why I'm bringing my fact about Naruto. The fact that Boruto stresses him out enough about not being there for his family depresses him because the fact that his dad wasn't there for his family, for him actually, and his mom makes him just wonder and depress even more so i'm wondering is naruto vulnerable vulnerable to the spirit possession chakra that's going that's coming around to the whole village or will he be able to overcome it and not even not even be affected at all now a lot of people are going to be conflicting about this because of kudama and shit but think about it kudama is just a big ball of chakra also so you you know for a fact he could he could probably even get possessed by it also because Kurama was depressed for years that he was locked up too. That depression could reactivate again or like I don't know. He's very comfortable with Naruto, but that that depression could reactivate again the fact that he may not want to be with Naruto and that can trigger it also. It's very it's very like complicated where this this spirit possession chakra comes in, but it's it's good it's good theoretical questions that you can pronounce from it that's what I'm trying to bring upon this video too because this video is not just saying oh shit Boruto got the new attainable power Tensai got Byaku got oh my god Shuri got Renegade got mixing a bow and this fucking eat it together no that's not what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is theoretical questions about Boruto's power because the fact that we're not so deep into the story yet still quest makes you question what is going on because they still haven't brought the main plot yet Exactly. Yes, you have. Uh, I pretty much agree with everything you just said, bro. Exactly, and I just ate the words out your mouth, didn't I, boy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> we've already been 16 minutes deep into talking about these theory questions. Mostly me, but I just wanted BG to be here because my nigga BG Biscuit is that biscuit that you want to eat, but at the same time, he's fucking chilled as hell, and he listens and understands about what you're talking about, Naruto, because he's a good Boruto fan also. But anyways... Like I was saying, yeah, so the new attainable power of Boruto is... I'm, okay, guys, let's get this shit straight. It is not fucking Tensaigon. It's not fucking Byakugan. We're just trolling you guys, but still, I just want to be that clarity because people are still going to comment on this video and be like, It's fucking Tensaigon! Oh my god, the fandom! No. I'm just trying to explain to you what I feel in the situation theoretically, in my point of view, of what's going on in the new Boruto anim and what's going on in the manga also. And with that being said, I conclude with this video. Now if you got any questions about what we were talking about, I'm pretty sure some points that we were talking about is complete BS and you're not gonna fucking care about it. And some points we were talking about does make you wonder what what we were going with with that question. So if any of you guys viewers wanna ask questions, leave comments down maybe we can get more into it maybe i can make it a video i'm gonna keep doing videos regarding naruto manga naruto 
episodes when the episode is released that's why I'm gonna start doing this video this is the beginning of the videos discussions that I'm gonna do with Naruto and also DBZ but with that being said like I said I'm gonna leave you with a few questions so with so the one of the main number one questions that I have is how is this going to proceed with the new power that Boruto has acquired the other question is what will happen in the time skip and what will we what will we see in the episodes of Boruto will they show us another time skip will they show us something completely different we don't know we just have to keep seeing the anime and the manga and pray to god that it's fucking good but the third one that I want to question also is what else can not I'm not saying Naruto what else can Boruto do with this power that he acquired because he can only do so little at the moment but let's I want to see how he progresses with it I want to see what what he can actually do if you can summon a motherfucking demon from us from a fucking summoning role I'm pretty sure you could do something completely badass and different than that Oh yeah, no, no, there's no doubt about there's that. There's no doubt about that. It's just, uh, I'm, I'm feeling that this is just the tip of the iceberg. It, exactly, and we just gotta wait for the freaking waterfalls to fall down at the iceberg and see what happens. But with that being said, I like I said, I conclude this video. I'm gonna keep talking if I keep going. I conclude this video. Please, guys, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, Demon Senpai. Um, like, comment this video, and also subscribe to my man, BG Biscuit. I will leave a link in the description. Just because he was here, you know, I don't like to be alone on videos. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I just needed some company about fucking Boruto because I'm a lame-ass nigga, and I don't know what to do with my life, but I love fucking Naruto. Just kidding. Anyways, anything else you want to say, BG Biscuit? Well, I mean, after I heard you say you love you love fucking Naruto, I don't, I don't know, but I don't know what fuck be hanging around you. <laughs> don't try me like that. Don't play with my name. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching this video, and like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. What questions you guys have about Boruto and, and any future references whatsoever? And thank you for watching this video.